Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, and today I've got a handful of amazingly destructive creations to look at, starting with God Rhino by Unripe. Now, honestly, I don't even care if this thing is destructive or not. Uh, just this build in and of itself is amazing. Just by itself, this design, look at the look at the helmet, the head. This thing is an amazing feat of detail and engineering in this game, unlike anything I have seen yet. But uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what this is all about. We have a ton of controls, as you can see. All right, it says Y to take off. So let's press Y and let's take off. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Man, this is, I, I don't even know how this person has built this thing. There's just so many parts that are all angled within each other. Um, oh, oh, I'm approaching. I am approaching the buildings. I don't, I'm not trying to do. <laughs> Is this how it's supposed to? Is this what I'm supposed to do with this thing? Um, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what my. Oh, okay. I can move my arms. I'm moving the arms. I'm doing front flips now. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to uh, use this. I thought I was just gonna go up in the air and hover there. All right, let's press some other buttons. So it looks like we're gonna have some type of missile launcher uh, over our shoulders. Oh! Whoa! Oh, that was pretty cool. All right, let's try to aim at the buildings. All right, that's just, it's just aiming up into the sky. I, I can't aim at the buildings. What about, what about, the, oh my, get my fists. Okay, massive spinning chest laser. Um, all right, I'm just floating away right now. I don't appear to have any, like, I can't figure out how to move forward right now. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this guy. I'm gonna try to park him right in front of these buildings. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, lift yourself back up. Use your shoulder rockets. There we go. Now we're nice and stable. Let's open up the shoulder cannons and let's rain down destruction on some of... I'm trying to show... You're supposed to be an instrument of destruction. There we go. Whoa, did you see it like went all the way through that building? It like went to the back and then back out the front. Aiming to the left a little bit. There we go. These are surprisingly destructive missiles. All right, I'm a fan of these. Last one there. I think that's all of them. Okay, now let me see if I can lift up my fists here and shoot those. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Um, those make me fall forward. There we go. Man, that's a lot of weight, apparently. All right, and then punch. Yes. That is awesome. All right, and then chest laser time. There we go. This is such a crazy build. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm falling forward. All right, activate booster. We're taking off. We are a god after all. It is our destiny to ascend. Man, look at this thing. It is so good. It's really hard to get a good control of this thing, but like once you start figuring it out, you can start doing some destruction. But man, the aesthetics are just, they're just top notch here. All right, but let's move on. I got some, a variety of other creations too, as well as another one that's similar to this one. All right, here we go. This is Subwoofer by Pyrotechnikid. I, Pyrotechnikid, maybe? <laughs> I didn't have enough time to decipher what that name said. So Subwoofer, this, I mean, it looks like a Subwoofer. Does it, does it Subwoof? All right, now if I press space. Whoa, whoa. This is way cooler than I was expecting. I think that is a natural spark that's happening from the moving pieces, but it, it just, it just communicates sound waves. So by the looks of it, what we got going on here is a bunch of pi oscillating pistons right in here. And these are just some flexible pieces going all around in the circle to create this subwoofer effect. Now the question is, does this, uh, does this do damage if we get close to a building? It could have the, the vortex things, the leaf blower style things. I don't know if that's in here, but let's find out. I am so happy right now. <laughs> that was amazingly satisfying to watch. This is so cool. This might be my new favorite creation. Like, yeah, the God Rhino is an aesthetic masterpiece, but this thing is a satisfaction masterpiece. What do you think's blaring through this, huh? It's gotta be something heavy. This is businessman's first time listening to dubstep.
Oh, that is so good. That is such a clever creation. All right, very well done on that. I got. I, I can't wait to see what else we have in this episode. These things are just getting more, more and more mind-blowing the longer this game is out. All right, up next, we've got... The Precision Quad Rotor by Zombie Ninja. Now, uh, flying vehicles are not very common in this game right now because there, there's a lack of aerodynamics, but let's see. Oh boy, let's see what this quadcopter is all about. How easy is it gonna be to control? Oh, okay. So for pitch, it's just got an extra set of thrusters pointing up on the front and back rotors. And same thing for roll. Oh, there's lasers on this thing. Oh my goodness, whoa! I didn't even know, I didn't see the bombs. Okay, we've got those. Uh, e and Q. Ooh, look at this. So E and Q might actually be collective pitch. So I'll do E. Oh yeah, there we go. And then Q is to go back down. So now if I find the right angle. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So stable. All right, let's drop these bombs. Pew! Whoa! I wasn't even aiming. It just, it just happened to be a good shot. Got lucky there. All right, N can turn on the lasers. I can use uh, W and S to aim up and down. Yeah, and then I can aim left and right with A and D, just like that. This is so well built. I'm surprised that like, it stays so stable in this. This is really nice. All right, let's try to use some controls to control this thing. Arrows, right? Yeah, so now I can tilt myself. There we go. Oh yeah, of course, since all the thrusters that tilt are all facing up, it actually gives you altitude as you uh, try to tilt. But man, that is so cool. This is the first that I've seen of like a, a quadricopter design that is actually especially easily controllable. All right, up next, we've got the Experimental Void Thrower by Johnny Arson. Gotta love a good experimental build every once in a while. So these are those new void pieces, um, Vortex gravity things. All right, T and R. Okay. Eh! Um, I don't think that worked very well. All right, let's try that again. Whoa! I think I was doing it wrong. All right, I think I got it. I have to activate these thrusters first and then release. There we go. Whoa! That building just imploded. That's amazing. Having a free floating ball of vortex is, uh, it's just chewing everything up. I'm not controlling it. It's, it's, what? This is crazy to watch. This is like Katamari, but somehow it keeps replenishing itself. That was, Absolutely amazing to watch. I am so glad I stuck it out trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. It's got, it kind of works, it, it works for itself because the vortexes are trying to pull the buildings towards it, but if the building isn't close enough, it ends up pulling itself towards the building, making itself more deadly. It's like, it's the perfect weapon. Too bad this building got away unscathed. I gotta do that one more time. Oh, that was a lighter toss. Could be to our benefit. Whoa! No, don't go in the water. It's not going in the water. It's just going in the building. Yes. Whoa, it goes up in the air too. That was awesome. Which way are you gonna go? Oh yeah, go that way. I wanna see this big building taken down. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. I love how it separates the top of the building and brings it down, but then it brings the, the vortex up as well. That is so good. All right, that was actually unreasonably satisfying as well. I, I did, it, it did way more than I expected. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is the Whistle Snake Real Heli by Zombie Ninja as well. Um, so this looks like it's gonna be using collective pitch. This is so cool. This is such a good looking helicopter. Oh, look at the floppiness of those blades. All right, let's, uh, it looks like it's the same controls as the quadcopter. Man, it, Ninja here is, uh, really into the flying vehicles, aren't you? Oh, look at the tail! The tail does yaw like that. That's so good. All right, and then W, oh, there we go. That is, um, pitch. And then this is going to be our collective pitch for altitude adjustment. Okay, we ready for this? 
that's so awesome that it actually has a working tail rotor as well. All right, we're going up. There we go. Let's level off a little bit right here. All right, and now the tail has its own collective pitch, which uh, results in yaw, which is awesome. This is so cool. Another easy one to control as well. All right, let's see if I can hit a building with these bombs. I'm assuming it's gonna be M for the bomb. Let's lean forward a little bit and press M. Oh no, I ru Oh, they fly pretty straight. I was expecting them to go down more. All right, well, let's turn on the lasers. The laser has full control. I don't even have to move the helicopter. Look at that. Look at that control ability. Amazing. This thing is so good. All right, all right, all right. I gotta try the missiles again, though. I gotta have a good missile strike. And I think I'm good to fire the missiles. Here we go. Yes! That was a direct center building hit. I mean, center width-wise, not height-wise. All right, you know what? Let's, oh wait, I can't. Wait, can I actually drive forward by, can I tilt forward enough to go forward? Let's find out here. Come on, tilt forward. I wanna ram into a building here. We're making some progress. There we go. There we are. That's another type of destruction with the helicopter. This helicopter is massive compared to these buildings. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, and up next, whoa, look at this thing. Draco by Stranger. I, I don't know if this thing tries to fly or not, or if it's just, it's just an aesthetic. Oh, there's a lot of controls on this as well. All right, oh, it's a walker? Wait, what? What am I doing right now? I got some flames in my mouth, some very subtle flames. It walks. It's a walker. All right, this is not this is not normal keyboard controls for me though. Okay, this is so unnatural for me. This is definitely a different keyboard layout. Whoa. Okay, what is that gonna do? Oh, we're flying kind of. Oh, here we go. So we gotta manually flap the wings. Oh, those look good. Those wings actually look really good. I like that. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm sucking up the buildings. Oh boy. Oh, this is crazy. I do not have a lot of control over this thing. All right, flap the wing into the building. There we go. We're just causing utter destruction. That's all this is. Yep, that is all this is. All right, definitely another creation that is breaking expectations. I did not know what to expect when I approached those buildings and this is not on my mind. This is not on my radar of what was about to happen. All right, I can't, I, it's, it's like impossible for me to control this thing though. So I'm glad we at least got that amount of destruction out of it. Oh, look at that. That is great. All right, and up next, we got this thing, which looks crazy. The Star Wars Droid Snail Tank by Dang, Dango Spark 117. I was looking at this, I'm like, is this an actual working tank tread in this shape? Cause that's kind of cool. So let's find out. I'm not familiar with this vehicle in the Star Wars franchise. So you'll have to tell me how accurate this thing looks. Oh man, that is awesome right there. That is so awesome. Really well done on that tank tread. All right, uh, let's push some buttons and see what happens. All right, Q. Oh, we got an extra boost with Q there. I'm assuming this aims the cannons. I don't know how to fire them just yet. Is that aiming lasers? Oh, we got some aiming lasers. That looks like some good aim right there. F. Oh, G. Oh yeah. Oh man, those are some fast cannonballs. I'm assuming we got magnets in here too or something. Oh man, these buildings are getting, you can see the hole. Like between these two buildings it creates one hole. Oh yeah, this building's about to get destroyed. I actually find the cannons, these cannons to be more satisfying than the bomb launcher, than these things. Oh yes. There's a lot of recoil too. Oh yeah, I forgot, I, didn't even, I don't even have to aim the tank itself. I can just aim the cannons using the arrows. That's awesome. All right, but I gotta ram a building and see what happens too. All right, let's activate boosters and go forward at full speed ahead. See how effective this thing is. And... Not bad. It's still going. This is a wide tank tread, dude. This is the widest tank tread I've seen in this game. 
All right, that was pretty satisfying. This is definitely a uniquely shaped creation. I like this one a lot. I'm really happy that that tank tread works in that irregular shape. Okay, and then up last, we have another one of these guys. This is God Alpha by Unripe. So the last one was God Rhino. This is God Alpha. I don't know if there's any differences other than the aesthetics. Actually, no. No, there's differences. There are differences other than the aesthetics. Like, look at, whoa, look at these legs. This one has legs. The other one did not have legs. So maybe it's the same torso. No, this helmet is so different too. It looks awesome. There's a cannon or something in that helmet. That is such a cool looking helmet with the spikes. Oh man, this is awesome. And this one doesn't have a chest laser. Okay, I'm seeing all the differences now. Now let's see if I can figure out how to control it. All right, I'm gonna press number one first. Oh, we've got lightsaber hands. Oh, look at that. I can use the tank treads down here. How, what an interesting layout, huh? And use tank treads down there to turn. Oh boy, there I go. Oh, here I go. Here I go. I'm coming, building. I'm coming. Give me a hug. <laughs> There's gotta be more to this than that. <laughs> okay, restart. Oh, okay, it's a laser. It's got laser eyes. Up and down arrow, I can go forward and back using those. Oh, that's cool. All right, there we go. Laser eye lasers through building. But it works. Definitely works. Okay, turn the laser eye off. All right, well, the instructions say to press Y before takeoff. So I just pressed Y. Oh, I see. It activates balloons. Wait, why is takeoff? What are you talking about? All right, uh, there we go. Activate laser eye. So it looks like, oh, interesting. Oh, really interesting. Look at this happening down here. Huh. All right, now let's press R. I can tilt forward. This tilts me back. Can we do a backflip? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. So yeah, definitely um, not the easiest thing to control <laughs> and for destructive purposes, but super incredible aesthetics on this one. Must have taken a long time to engineer this out. Go, oh, there we go. Shoulder it right into the building. <laughs> Hello there. Definitely a lot less weapon capabilities than God Rhino, but uh, this thing's an impressive beast. So did you guys have a favorite out of all these creations? Let me know down in the comments below. I actually, I'm kind of leaning towards the subwoofer to be honest, that thing was so fun to watch. But if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy more that you can see on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.